हेलो माय लवली किड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट योर होम दिस इज योर मैथ्स क्लास टुडे आई एम हियर विथ एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक आर यू रेडी सो हियर वी गो लुक एट दिस रबर इट इज एक्सपैंडेड now it becomes short expanded short expanded short you have already done expanded form today we are going to do short form i will tell you how can we convert the expanded form into short form let's start now read this what is this h t o h stands for hundreds t stands for tens and o stands for ones hundreds tens ones expanded form is given to you and you have to write the short form for it first of all read this five hundreds five hundreds here hundreds is the place of 5 so we can write 5 under the heading of hundreds like this it means 5 hundreds 5 hundreds now see the next 6 tens 6 tens here tens is the place of 6 tens is the place of 6 and t also stands for tens so we can write number 6 here it means 6 tens 6 tens now read this 2 ones 2 ones here ones is the place of Two and O also stands for ones, so we can write number two here. It means two ones, two ones. See, this is the expanded form. Now it becomes short. Now it becomes short. Read this number. Five hundred sixty-two. Five hundred sixty-two. Expanded form. Short form. Here, expanded form is given. Now you have to write the short form. Read it first. Six hundreds. Six hundreds. Hundreds is the place of Six. So we can write six here under the heading of H. H also stands for hundreds. Six hundreds. Six hundreds. Now the next four tens. Here tens is the place of four. So we can write. Four under the heading of tens because T stands for tens. Four tens, four tens. Now the next seven ones. Ones is the place of seven, and O also stands for ones. So we will write seven 
here. Seven ones. Seven ones. This is the expanded form and this is the short form. Six hundred forty-seven. Six hundred forty-seven. Now see one more example. First of all, read this number. Three hundred. Three hundred. It means hundreds is the place for three. Hundreds is the place for three. So, we will write number three here under the heading of H as H stands for hundreds. Now, the next five zero, what do we call it? Fifty. Fifty. Here, fifty means five tens. Fifty means five tens. And T stands for tens. So, we will write number five under the heading of T. As T stands for tens. Now, see what is this? This is number nine. Students, when there is only one digit, it means it comes under the heading of ones. Or you can say that nine ones. You can say that nine ones. So, we can write number nine under the heading of O. As O stands for ones. Nine ones. O ones. So, it means nine ones. This is the expanded form and this is the short form. How can we read this? 359. 359. Now see one more example. Read this number. 700. 700. It means hundreds is the place of seven. And H stands for hundreds. So, we can write number seven here. Seven hundreds. Seven hundreds. Now, the next number, 40. It means four tenths. It means four tenths. We can write number four under the heading of T. As T stands for tens. Four tens. Four tens. Next one. Here one is the single digit. It means it comes under the heading of O. O stands for ones and it is number one one. We, we cannot say ones here. Only one is given. So, we can say one one. And it comes under the heading of ones. One, one. One, one. It's not ones. It is one. It is one, one. If the numbers are more than one, like two, three, four, five, then we can use ones. When only one number is given, it means one, 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 one. This is the expanded form and this is the short form. 741. 741. I hope now you have understood how to convert expanded form into short form. Thank you.